Hey, I'm Ewan Stewart, I'm from North Wales Farm, Rothy Norman. We've got 230 acre and we produce beef cattle. We've got 120 cows and we're hoping to increase that a bit. Three years ago we had a bit of a problem with cleansing when the cattle were calving and the vet recommended treasure boluses, but I wasn't very sure at the time because we didn't know what was happening, so we tried them and success. The second year we missed them out because we wasn't sure if it was the work, the work or no. And the third year we went back on them again. It was a bit late in giving them the cattle because they were outside longer than they should have been with the open winter. And they started calving. There was about six or eight cows hung onto their cleans. We bolused them and within about four to five weeks the cleans just dropped for them. Just within half an hour of calving, just perfect. So that was proof enough to you, oh, the fact I. that you'd bolus them previously, you had no problems with retained cleansings, yep. and then you didn't bolus them, and then you had the well, problem we had, return. We had every intention in bolusing them, but it was a bit late with the open winter. They were outside longer than they should have been, and they were coming close to the carving, so we bolused them when they came in. And by the time the boluses kicked in, I would reckon about four or five weeks, and they started cleansing just near bother. What type right. of breeds of cattle do you have here? Cementals in... Cross, Charlie Crosses and some limousines. There's an odd Belgian blue and the pedigree Charlies. And do you think this land in Aberdeenshire is short of any particular trace elements to be experiencing those problems within the herd? It is uh, lacking minerals and stuff. That's why the trace shores, cobalt and iodine and, and uh, selenium, and up in this northeast corner, it is, the ground is lacking minerals. So I, I think it was a great success. Well, Bolsing them twice a year, and we've cut back in a lot of the bucket minerals and stuff now. We don't use so much of that because they're getting everything they need out of the boluses again. Well, anything over about five, six hundred kilo, we'll give them a double bolus, and uh, the average kind of cattle is a single bolus twice a year. We'll bolus them from, from the goat to the grass again, hopefully mid, middle of April, end of April. We'll BVD, lepto, bolus, and worm before the goat are in the same time and get them out to grass. And then when they come back in again at the back end, we we'll bolus, worm them again. What type of diet do you rear the cattle on? It's silage and uh, some barley. We use some draft from the distilleries. But this next year we're going into lupicalage, and it's, uh, it's lupins and triticale mixed. So we're hoping to go do that road and see what happens. And where do you sell the cattle? They're selling at Thainston, at the local market in, in Varuri. And you're pleased with the way that they're looking? Oh, we, we last year we had were naming the paper three times. We topped the sale three times last year, and we've once this year just. <laughs> so, and how would you sum up trace your CUI? Oh, good. I, it fairly brings the cattle on and the clans better. They're healthier and can a nice shine in their coats and fairly better.